This is Taizhou, a city in the Jiangsu province of eastern China. Until recently, and unbeknownst to the people of the city, one of its streets held a 700-year-old secret, a secret that would eventually be unearthed. In April of 2011, in the city of Taizhou, a 700-year-old sarcophagus was unearthed by a group of road workers whilst undergoing work to widen a street. The tomb lay only two metres, or six and a half feet, below the street's surface. It contained the astonishingly well-preserved corpse of a woman. On investigation, it was revealed that the body was as much as 700 years old, and was buried during the Ming Dynasty rule of China. The body was one and a half metres tall, or nearly five feet. Wang Waiyin, who is a director at the Museum of Taizhou, told a local news channel that the mummy's clothes were made mostly of silk, but included some cotton. The dress that she wore was a traditional silk garb, which was typical of the Chinese Ming Dynasty which suggested she herself may have been a high-ranking member of the ancient governing body of China. The Ming Dynasty ruled China for 276 years, from 1368 until 1644. China was then known as the Empire of the Great Ming. The Ming Dynasty's rule is known as one of the country's greatest eras, and it brought with it a social stability and a dedicated government. The dynasty's end came in 1644 after the country's capital Beijing was taken over by Li Xingcheng's so-called peasant army. But they were forced out of the city and therefore out of power after only 40 days by Prince Dorgon's Manchu army. The Qing Dynasty took over from the Ming with Li Xingcheng's 40-day rule being delegitimized. But smaller regimes, loyal to the former Ming rule, survived until 1683. They were known as the Southern Ming. The new Qing dynasty survived until 1912, when the country became the Republic of China. Her entire body was well preserved. Her skin looked as if she had passed away relatively recently, and her clothes and shoes had hardly deteriorated at all. Even her eyelashes and eyebrows were partially intact. She wore a green stone ring on her finger and lay partially beneath shallow brown water. The water, according to the scientists who investigated the find, had the perfect temperature and oxygen level to considerably slow down the decomposition process. It's unknown whether this was intentional, a 700 year old preservation method, or simply luck, after water seeped in from the world above and reached the right conditions in time to preserve the body. Archaeologist Victor Meyer of the University of Pennsylvania thinks that this preservation method was unintentional. He said, Wet mummies survive so well because of the anaerobic conditions of their burials. I don't know of any evidence that the Chinese ever intentionally mummified their deceased. Whoever happened to encounter the right environment might become a preserved corpse. It's said that she was surrounded in her tomb by other items such as bone, jewellery, ceramics and ancient writings, although whether or not these writings tell us about who she was is unknown. It's very plausible to think that these artefacts may have faded over time, making them illegible. Apart from the largely agreed theory that she was a high-ranking citizen or even royalty during the Ming Dynasty rule, her exact identification may elude us forever. Although this discovery is astonishing on its own, 
there have been five other discoveries of mummies in the area, dating from 1979 to 2008. All of the deceased were found in a good condition for their age. However, on the discovery of the 1979 mummy, only the clothes from the body could be preserved indefinitely, as the archaeologists involved didn't have the experience to know how to preserve the human remains for long periods of time. A little ironic when you consider that these bodies have been preserved underground for hundreds of years by natural conditions. It was this discovery in 1979 that inspired the opening of the Taizhou Museum. Another mummy was unearthed on October 10, 2013, this time in the Henan province of Xiangcheng. This mummified cadaver was said to be 300 years old and from the Qing dynasty, the dynasty which succeeded the Ming. The body was of a man and like the Taizhou lady, was thought to be a senior member of his governing dynasty. Within hours of his discovery though, the skin of the man, once well preserved, was said to have turned black with a foul smell emanating from his body. This was due to its sudden exposure to the air above ground after spending three centuries below it. But were these conditions the man was found in similar to the Taizhou woman? Well, he wasn't submerged in water, but the body was said to be sealed in a charcoal covered coffin, a method which is said to have a similar effect to mummification. Although once the seal is broken and the corpse is exposed to the open air, the decomposition process speeds up, and in this case appears that the man's body aged 300 years in a matter of hours. According to Dr. Lucas Nicol, an archaeologist at London's School of Oriental and African Studies, this was a method of simply preserving the body somewhat, not a deliberate attempt at pure mummification as found in ancient Egypt for example. He said the Chinese did not treat the body to preserve it. They did, however, try to protect the body by putting it into massive coffins and stable tomb chambers. The integrity of the physical structure of the body was important to them. So it seems that the incredible preservation of both the Taizhou woman and the Zaichang man was intended to preserve the bodies. But I wonder if the people of ancient China believe the true extent and effectiveness of their ancient methods.